The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Hi, and welcome to the Eagles Sports Network. I'm Dan Rezork, standing here with Beach Volleyball Head Coach Catherine Lind. Kat, the, the Beach Volleyball schedule is coming out this week. Uh, tell us your initial thoughts, what you're seeing. Yeah, um, we're really excited. We have a lot of games this year, so that's going to be awesome. Um, definitely starting with some competition that is probably going to be easier than the rest of the season. Um, so I'm excited to kind of have our schedule built to where we'll peak at a good time. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the, the beginning of the season, you play uh, Truett McConnell two times, LaGrange three times. Tell us uh, what that familiar uh, those familiar faces do for the team. Yeah, um, kind of weird that it shook out that way. Mm -hmm. wasn't really designed that way, but that's right. Um, it's going to be good for us. Um, we'll be able to kind of see different pairs in different situations. Um, it'll make my job easier just for decisions um, just down the road too. Um, so it'll be good to have similar competition, um, familiar faces that we can kind of get comfortable with each other that mm -hmm. way too. Sounds great, Coach. Now in the month of March, you're starting to see some more familiar faces with uh, Catabla and some other uh, closer teams. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about what, what that does for the team. Yeah, um, it's always nice to travel close and not super far. Um, and so just being able to have higher competition, but in a closer area is good. Um, we have great support from our families um, and parents and stuff like that. And so it's always fun to play closer to home. Mm -hmm. Now, last year we, we lost a few good players, but we have a lot of great ones coming back. Yeah. Talk about uh, some of the leadership that you're seeing and how it's going to help us this yeah. year. Yeah. Um, we did lose two of our seniors last year. Um, they did awesome for us. They broke a lot of records and stuff like that. Um, but even with that, our pretty much our core group is still coming back. Um, and so it's going to be fun. We'll, I expect us to break more records. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's going to be a really fun season. Um, they do a great job of leading themselves. Mm -hmm. um, we don't necessarily have one person that stands out, um, but they all kind of stand out in their own way with their different characteristics and stuff. And so. It's really great to see them kind of leading themselves and just creates a better culture for us. Coming off a 15-win season with a, a pair of postseason wins, how do we mm -hmm. get back to that this season? Yeah, oh, that's the goal. <laughs> um, I definitely see us getting at least 15. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, my goal is that we're pushing 18, 19. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of my goal for us as a program too. But I think it's just going to be the hard work that they put in all the time, you know, and. The big thing for us is the end of the year in ABCA. Um, and pulling out wins there is the toughest competition we see. Um, but hopefully that weekend before that's really going to set us up for that. A final question, Coach. Um, going to indoor, we had a great indoor season yeah. this year. Does that momentum sort of help yeah. us going into beach? Yeah, it definitely does. Um, we have five girls that do both. Um, and so just having them come over too, um, but also kind of gives them a different aspect of the game. Mm -hmm. um, beach is very different than indoor. Um, it's a lot more mental than indoor is. Um, and so just having that momentum definitely is encouraging. Um, and it's just encouraging because we're all get along as a big group too. And just having that big family is awesome. She's Beach Volleyball's Kat Lind. I'm Dan Rezork here with the Eagles Sports Network.